carved by another's hand. But it's too late to hesitate. We can't keep on living like this. If any of you guys watching ever have a question for the artists that is gonna work in there right now, um, just write it in the Twitch chat and I'm happy to forward it to the artist. It's getting dark too soon. A threatening silence surrounding me. A wind comes up from the islands when distance fades to storm.
Okay, Benjamin, can you hear me? Uh, oh, yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. So, where do we start? I would say, let's just start with what exactly are you doing? Because uh, a lot of people don't work with nodal programs and uh, for them it's going to be really confusing. And so yeah. it would be nice to just explain a bit of um, what you're doing at the moment. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I am doing the setup yeah. towards the, the forest and the grass moving with the wind. Uh, so mm -hmm. for now, I'm just uh, blocking the different part I want. So you see the grass moving in front and the yes. trees uh, behind. Uh, so yeah, you see the node base graph. Um, I can show you, for example, the grass, I did it there. So I have some recipe to, to have grass. I can add, add, add as many as I want and I can control the, the force of the wind, for example, uh, so that it moves. And uh, so it's what I did. Uh, you see it in the front, and you can see to to make it move. I use some mathematic formula yes. uh, that is just uh, this curve that says, okay, the wind first go to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, so that you can have this smooth uh, transition. Yes. Uh, and so I applied it to the grass. And um, now I'm setting the trees. So I wanted to try because. Um, I never used it before, but in these softwares, you have like, like L systems, that is some some way to generate trees. Uh, you can see yes. that a lot in video games and other software. And uh, so you have like uh, this formula uh, with letters that allows you to define the shape of the trees. So yes. for example, I could change it, but if I if I want a tree that just go uh, on the left, uh, I don't know if I like, okay, ah. If I want it to go only on the right, uh, I can change the formula and it will go uh, only on one side. Yes. And then uh, in this recipe, I can uh, I can add as many steps as I want so that the, the, we can get bigger or not. Um, and so right now I'm testing different recipes for the trees to add this, um, this setup behind uh, where I want later the sun to go behind and put some lights on the trees and on the grass and so yes. that you can see a sunset. So I'm just set uping all that. My problem right now is that the tree is really heavy for the computer. So I wanted to make it move, but uh, yes. it's too much. So I, I'm trying to find a solution to be lighter so that it can move but uh, don't low don't go too low in fps yes and uh, yeah that's mostly where i'm at right now so trying to find the way to first have the move and then add some details and uh, make it uh, nicer so cool <laughs> so <laughs> fingers crossed that you find a solution to do that thank you yeah <laughs> i will check i will check <laughs> Okay, <laughs> good going. If you need anything, just let me know anytime. I'm just going to put some music back on. Yeah, thanks. And thanks for the help on the screen sharing too. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Hola, vos. Pues por desarrollada, porque estoy ocurriendo desde la casa mayoritariamente y casos pequeños y tal, y como que no salgo casi nada. Esperas tiempo.
Texture like sun lays me down with my mind. She runs throughout the night. No need to fight, never a frown with golden brown. Every 
time just like the last on the ship tied to the mast two distant lands takes both my hands never a frown with golden brown Tress through the ages she's heading west from far away stays for a day never a frown with golden brown Hello, Paula. Hello. Nice to talk to you and nice to see your work on the big screen. <laughs> so, Thank you. <laughs> um, could you just uh, tell us a bit about uh, the prompt you got and um, what you're working on at the moment? I mean, huh? I see that you're painting, obviously, but I would like to hear a bit more about what is it that you're doing here? <laughs> okay, no problem. So. Uh, the prompt is, uh, what is the transitioning experience of dying look or feel like? Something okay. like that. I'm not reading it now, so it's how I remember it. Uh, yes. But uh, although it may sound dark at first a little, uh, but I wanted it to be on a more positive way. Uh, so this painting that I'm working, it's about a philosophical statement yes. uh, that that is not necessary on, uh, only a bad thing. Uh, it means that we want the life and we continue on, but not in our physical form. Uh, we actually connect with nature, with our spirit and our body. So we uh, transform to some like some particles and we move on it's not uh, the end of the road yes exactly basically it's just a transition from one thing to the other and uh, we still even um even the same um particles are still there so we're just giving them a new form uh, yes uh, so i got this idea about uh, this uh, kind of a wave here that uh, is um, like a door portal to some other world. Yes. Okay, so we are looking into the portal or um, what do I see? You said that the wave basically is like the portal. So is it going from the top to the bottom or? Um... Uh... Uh, here is like our past life. Uh, yes. Here are our life. 
Dave, I'm sorry, there are some sounds. Okay, is it better now? Can you still I hear me? I hope you can hear me now. Yes, I can hear you, no problem. <laughs> okay, as our, my neighbor has some construction work, so I didn't want you to hear it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, so this uh, bottom part of the painting is our past life. And so we go up and we, it's not done yet, but uh, it's how we view it like this way. And it's a circle of life kind of thing. And around it, it will be uh, flowers, but I will get to it at the end. Perfect. It looks already very nice and um, I really like how you picked up the idea and how you made an artistic concept around it and really brought it out as something positive. It has no real darkness in it. It's really just just showing a transition. Oh, yes, thank you. No problem. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Is there any more you want to share by now or should I just leave you a bit uh, work in there? Uh, but it, it's okay for now. I can uh, share maybe tomorrow uh, how it goes. It can yes. just stay like this for now. Thank you. No problem. I will just turn back the music. <laughs> thank okay, you. thank you. Uh, and I want to say that the music is really nice. I like it. Thank you. That's really good. I thought something older, some stuff that people know is probably a good way to fit uh, for most people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not distracting. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.
Okay, dear artists, who wants to be on the big screen next and maybe share a bit about what you're doing right now? Just let me know in the chat in the Zoom and I will get you on screen.
Okay, ready. Let's do it. Hi there, you should be able to hear me. So, let's yeah. Wow, well, yes. you really got got ahead with it. I saw the beginnings when you came on online today, and uh, yeah, you're really in, invited to talk a bit about your piece, about the prompt you got, and how you went about on about doing it. Okay, so the prompt was uh, about the the prompter wanted some something uh, occult, dark. Yes and mystical <laughs> nailed it so, <laughs> so i practically uh, i was swimming in my own pool so i decided yeah i have to go for uh, for something very very direct uh, even because i didn't have that much time so yes. i followed my usual uh, idea of this kind of figures they are sorcerer wizard shamans they are mm -hmm. creatures and human connected to the spirit world and uh, nature 
And I just gave her um, some features, like even if I have a style that is a little bit sketchy, is not super detailed, uh, yes. but I gave her um, some skulls, some weird skulls, uh, mm -hmm. because the occult, I mean, it's connected to, I, I connected it to death and to necromancy and to the ability to uh, talk with the death and the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I've chosen blue. Uh, I had two, two choices, uh, or blue or purple. Purple would have been right too, but I don't know why I connected the, the artwork with the night uh, and the, the power of the night. So I just focused on hair and uh, um, the magic, the magic and probably a companion here, <laughs> a spiritual mm -hmm. companion here. It's a sort yes. of a guardian, whatever. So this is what I did. <laughs> yeah, it turned out really cool. And it was really nice to see at what pace you were able to do that. Well, yeah, usually I'm very, I am fast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I am fast and uh, because sometimes I know people uh, go through many steps and the sketch sometimes I just go with the flow like it's almost a traditional painting I don't know I go with the flow with the mm -hmm. um, with the vision I had so I kind of follow uh, what the painting needs <laughs> like sometimes the, the painting needs something and we actually have to decipher that. Uh, so for example, this figure here, I actually added it later because this section was completely like hollow. It was, yes. there was nothing there. And so I figured that uh, something was needed there. Uh, but pretty much I go straight to the point because the, the character was already there from the start. But once I started to see her, uh, everything else came around uh, yes. and, and came up. So uh, I don't know, this is my contribution to this, um, to this event. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a super nice one. Thank you a lot. And thank you a lot for sharing. Thank you. Thanks to you. I want to say hi and goodbye to everybody because I have to leave now. And thank you for uh, this chance. No <laughs> and this occasion. Have a nice day, guys. You too. Um, Andressa, would you like to come next? You wrote that you might be wanting to come on. Then you would just have to hit the screen share button on, on the bottom and uh, you will be right there. Okay. Oh, oh man, where is it? <laughs> It's uh, uh, on the bottom and pretty much in the middle. It's a box with an upside uh, up going arrow. Arrow, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Found it? Yes. Did it work? Um, okay. No, oh, yeah, it's loading. Something. Oh, it's loading, okay. Oh, sometimes it just takes a while. We've been having all sorts of problems with the Zoom today. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no, it's not it, not. it did not come on. Is it still loading? Just a minute. Yeah, it looks like yeah, yeah. perfect. Did it work? Now you're on the big screen. Yeah, perfect. So first of all, hello personally, and um, yeah, Hi. tell us a bit about what prompt you got and how you go about it. Yeah. Okay. So I got um, it's a bit of a, a bit of a long prompt, but I can read it. Um, so it says, uh, "The first thing you notice is her tattoos: tropical flowers floating on an ocean." stars in a galaxy, and soft winged shapes circling in a sky. The tattoos look like all of these, but they are not. 
like delicate lace work on climbing flowering vines, the patterns, detail and subtle colors among the brilliant illustrations are not truly appreciated until you look closely. But you will not know that at this first meeting. She noticed your approach long before you saw her and you suddenly realized that her beautiful gray eyes twinkle with silent laughter at your startled expression. All of your assumptions about what she would be like are dissolving like morning mist in the sun. They said she was old, dangerous, and a mother, that she came from the hot southern lands or maybe the far western islands, that she did not tolerate fools, that the collars were gone, that this song was the last gift she had. They were right about all of it, but also completely wrong. Her matronly curves, the glints of silver in her dark reddish hair and the lines of grief and joy etched into her features did not diminish her all too human beauty. As you take a moment to gather your courage, you appreciate the spot she chose. She's sitting on a stone at the base of a towering conifer tree or maybe an oak. You're not good at telling such things apart. Her posture is casual, but she's somehow also very alert to her surroundings. The forest is almost cozy, softly lit with the occasional sunbeam. The ground beneath the trees is a rich, deep carpet of moss broken only, only by a small island of meadow grass and a surprising variety of wildflowers. The tabby cat beside her is a warm, creamy color, and his eyes are a lovely prairie doe, sparkling with unexpected intelligence. If it were not for her iridescent dragonfly-like wings or the fact that she and the house cat would be of a height if they were standing, you could almost mistake her for one of the women of the village. Almost. Wow. So <laughs> that was the prompt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a proper have... story. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, yes, but it's really something that you first have to somehow digest to even get a start on that amazing yeah exactly yeah I, I could picture the whole scene in my head like somebody coming to see like an oracle or a special being of some sort yes and um yeah <laughs> yeah so uh um yeah i was i was streaming yesterday but i didn't have so much time to work on it this morning so it's progressing very slowly Mm -hmm. But uh, I can go a little bit further. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Did you fall over? Oh, I hope not. No, the picture fell over. No, okay. No, it's, in a, it's, it's, it's on an arm and I have okay. to like, bend the arm. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so no, I... I focused more on the on the character itself, um, mm -hmm. and there are going to be like some hints of the um, of the scenery, like the the trunk of the tree and uh, some uh, moss and wildflowers over here. Yes. But I wanted to put the the character really um, focused on the frame. Mm -hmm. Wow, it looks like and, it's going to be um, really cool. Thanks. Yeah, I I work really slowly, <laughs> so I'm really hoping I can progress enough uh, the next couple of days. But uh, I'm definitely going. If if I don't finish through the streaming, I'm definitely going to finish uh, until next week. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I really love um, how, how watching you guys um, shows all the different, not only the different expressions of every artist, but also the different paces you go about, the different approaches you take in, in starting your piece. It's really a nice experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. It's, it's a really nice event. I'm like, I'm really enjoying it, taking part in this event. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. Um, so is there anything more you want to share or should I just uh, leave you to it? Uh, well, for now, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. If there's I'm anything, going. just let me know in the chat. All right. Perfect. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Oh,
Porsche to black mountains Faded through love A second of reflection can take you to the moon The slightest hesitation can bring you down in flames A single spark of passion can change a man forever A moment in a lifetime is all it takes to break him A fraction of a heartbeat made us what we are A brother and a sister for better or for worse A billion words ago they sang a song of leaving An echo from the chorus will call them back again Lonely voices Like whispers in the dark A choir full of longing We call our ships to port They count as lonely voices Like whispers in the dark
Same. 
Hi Fiona, nice to have you on the big screen now. Um, tell us a bit about your prompt and your piece and how you decided to go about like your do. Okay, so the prompt I got was uh, a background that reminds you of sacred geometry. On the yes. foreground, something like multidimensional human being in communion with nature, amazing colors. Okay. Um, yeah, I choose it because uh, it's a bit like comfort zone for me. And as I didn't have a lot of time, um, well, <laughs> there were there were a lot of prompts that I felt really tempted to to try, but uh, I had to pick something simple for me, and mm -hmm. that's why I pick picked this one. Yes. Um. So. For me, when I get inspired inspired about something, I get the you know, the idea pretty fast in my head. So it happens with it happened with this one. Mm -hmm. um, then I just did a sketch and it started to develop uh, right away. I didn't have a really clear um, which palette I was going to use, or um, yeah, how was how I was going to pull everything together? But I like to flow with the piece and uh, see where it's going, like by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been um, pretty much an improvised thing, um, and yeah. So right now, for example, um, the geometry has been lost. <laughs> <laughs> because it was going to be uh, this thing that has uh, become a lotus. And yes. <laughs> so perhaps when I finish this, I will add uh, a soft uh, flower of life uh, in the background. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, yeah, for me, this is like a bit of the uh, simple representation of uh, multidimensional. Uh, with the reality uh, here that it's like um, shown in two ways, like the real way with the green grass and just a more uh, spiritual way. The animals connected with the being that I didn't know how to paint it, so I am making it transparent, um, sort of, to represent also like uh, that multidimensional Mm, aspect of it that it's just not only physical and uh, yeah <laughs> i don't know how what what else to say um no it's perfectly yeah. fine it was okay. pretty great already to to have a have an idea about how you're working with it and again i really love when i switch over to the next artist that um really all of you are using different techniques and um yeah, really just take a different approach on it. And it shows so much about the fact that uh, giving an, a computer a prompt or giving an artist a prompt, how it's so much different because in, in one sense, an artist is even more limited because it, they, they don't have like every single thing humans have ever done in their, in their database, so to say. <laughs> yeah. But on the other yeah. hand, it's so much more personal and I really love to yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah, um, I had the opportunity to be uh, painting this morning with um, Belly, who is also oh, Belly Bali. I don't remember the name correctly. Uh, she has been also working in this prompt, and it was really cool to see the uh, the different ways she was approaching it with her own style. And even so, we picked uh, kind of similar palettes. 
<laughs> that was really cool to see um, the uh, little similarities. Uh, yeah, and the big differences too. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. So I will leave you to it and um, we, we can just watch you a bit working on it. And um, if there's anything, just let me know in the chat. Okay. Have a good day. You too.
Hi. Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Anyway, I'm just going to say goodbye. Okay, have a great night. Thank you for being Thank there. You. Sorry? I just wanted to say have a good night and uh, or a good day, whatever time it is at your place. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good time too. Bye, everyone. Bye. So now I'm going to check for myself. A round of the people's best years. I don't think of any fear.
Perfect timing. Hello, Nasolia. Hello, Chris. Can How you are you? Ah, oh, great. Yes, perfect. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Oh, great. So now for the first time today, we have somebody who is not painting in any way, but uh, writing, which I think is really great to see that we have different disciplines of art here. So mm -hmm. tell us a bit about uh, your prompt and how you went on writing with it. Okay, thank you for having me. This is really great. Um, my prompt had to do with the human connections. And so when I started it yesterday, I didn't have a name for it uh, initially, but I decided to break it down into who the character is, what the story is about. So it'll basically be like a day in the life uh, following this particular character as she interacts with different people. So connection is very important for human beings, and especially when we don't have our digital electronics with us. So she'll be uh, talking to people face to face as opposed to all the social media. And from the different interactions with people uh, spanning from um, a young age, like three years old to in the 80s, 90s, it shows how as different as we may be, we're more the same than we are different, which is why I chose Oni to Slim him <laughs> for the title of this piece. So that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm in the process of going through the day with her and she's made the second character that she's interacting with without um, a phone. Very nice. And it will be really cool for us to like to spend a few minutes uh, looking over your shoulder while you write. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so I will let you get to it. And if there's anything else you need, just let me know in the, in the chat and I'll be there for you. All right, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. No problem, we will. See you later, bye. See you, bye. Don't understand why we can't just hold on to each other's hands. This time might be the last fear left. I make it all. I need you so Thank you. And learn to love you. Don't be He's broken away. Tonight, we can take what we want. Make it right. Your hair was the flesh, and blood makes me whole.
Ich komm zu dir, halt deine Hand. Wir gehen gemeinsam durch dies wunderbare Land, das ich für dich erfand. Mit mathematischem Verstand. Doch du 
Let's dance in sky, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? Let us die young or let us live forever. We don't have the power, but we never say never. Sitting in a sand pit, life is a short trip. The music's for the sad man. Can you imagine when this race is won? Turn our golden faces into the sun. Raising our leaders, we're getting in tune. The music's played by the, the madman. Okay, everybody, it's time for me to say goodbye. I was having a great afternoon with you watching your art and there will be the next moderator for you here in a few minutes. And I wish you all a great evening and keep on creating. It really was a blast with you. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, bye. Hi everyone.
Hi, uh, when I join on the phone, I can't tell if I'm sharing my screen. I can't see anything except for Isabel's screen. Hi. Are you seeing? <coughs> Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I screen uh, for an half an hour. Day. <laughs> and what is the from France? I can see is that there are 11 people on but I can't tell if you're getting my video so I don't need to share a screen because this is my phone I was just trying to hope you could see my hands so I'll go mute and oh.
As I watched, did I close my eyes?
Let's dance in style, let's dance for a while Haven't can wait, we're only watching the skies Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? Let us die young or let us live forever We don't have the power, but we never say never Sitting in a sandpit, life is a short trip The music's for the sad man Can you imagine when the slice is won? Turn our golden faces into the sun. Raising our leaders, we're getting in tune. The music's played by the, the madman.
I mean, leaving, uh, come back tomorrow. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Good to see you too. Looks like fun.
Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, Isabella, you can come back at a preferred time. No worries. Hi, I come back. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have a good.
Xin chào Yến. Xin chào mình. I can't uh, when I want to screen it's not uh, it's not uh, okay. Alex. Hello. Um, Hello. Uh, I make I make a, um, a comment. Yeah, I seen it, but I'm not able to understand it. I think it's it is the same. Time, I guess. Okay, so uh, you can try to disconnect yourself, and then again you can join the meeting and I think then you would be able to show your screen. You can try it, otherwise I will figure it out. Can you speak in slowly? <laughs> My yeah, yeah, slowly. absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I'm saying uh, <laughs> I'm saying you can disconnect yourself and if again the issue is same, we can figure it out. Otherwise, I think it would be you would be able to, you know, join, uh, share your screen. Just disconnect yourself once and then join it again. Got it? Mm, I don't understand. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let me explain again. Okay, so I'm saying you can just leave the meeting, and then again you can join it, and probably you would be able to share your screen then. Okay, so yeah, I must leave and uh, come back. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. Again, you can rejoin instantly. So maybe okay. the issue will be fixed by this. Okay, do that. Uh. Okay, try it.
I have the, mem the same problem uh, with the screen. Okay, and still you are not able to share your screen? Hello. Why? Right. I don't, I don't understand what you say. <laughs> uh, I'm saying still you are not able to share your screen. I mean, you are able to share your screen? Cynthia, Helen. Okay, wait, let me figure it out. Can you, can you describe in discussion? It's, it's um, easier for me to, to understand uh, in um, with. Um, Okay, I'm discussing the team. Just just give me a minute. I will get back to you.
Yes, it's okay. <laughs> Ice cream. I'm screaming. <clears throat> yeah, so well, like, I think now you are able to share your screen. Yes. yes, it's okay now. Thank you. Okay, let me know if, if you face any other issues in case.
Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm great. How about you? I'm amazing. <laughs> It's honor to see you here. And I'm talking to Alex. Yeah, I'm Alex, and I'm the moderator of the session for today. It's a pleasure to see you, and yeah. Nice to meet you. You do, you do. I think uh, your network connection is yeah, it is stable. You are ready to go. I guess. Is this the first time you are joining the event, or you are been here? Yeah, I've been here yesterday. Oh, that's good. Then there is no issues. I I just joined as a moderator, so just for kind of confirmation, I have asked. Hello, it's Yolantis. Can you see? Um, I cannot get feedback as to whether or not you can see this cutting board. Uh, the camera is. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, all right. So now I can see what I'm doing. I'm about to do the image transfer. Uh, And that's the juiciest part of my whole process here. So um, I need this as a um, level, like a solid surface. And I need to do some setup before I can do the transfer. Um, but basically I printed my artwork to a emulsion transparency last night on camera. And now I have prepared the wood on camera in yeah, outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe I'm ready to, um, do the emulsion transfer. So I'm gonna go mute again. Yes.
Hello, I believe I just unmiked, um, unmuted. Um, this is my transfer medium, Wonder Sauce from Das Art. It's a white one, forgive my dogs. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna hold this one back. I need to coat the entire surface of the block I'm gonna transfer to, and that will let the ink release from the transparency. I've already sanded it with a thousand grit. You start your sanding with like a hundred grit and you move up 200 grit, 300 grit, 600 grit. grit. So the surface is like glass. Right, well, it looks like it's drying really fast. It's kind of warm here today. So I'm gonna give it another one. That is my registration board. It's a little slippy slidey. <laughs> okay, hopefully this works. We gotta go now. It's got to wait one minute. Alexa, timer, one minute. One minute. Starting now. Oh, man. I don't know about this. I got a bubble. Ooh, we will see how it turns out. It's really, really exciting. It could be wrecked. It could be completely wrecked around here. Alexa, stop. Okay. So now I'm taking up the transparency to see how the transfer went. Oh my goodness. Not so smooth today, not so smooth.
I think the gesso was bad. Okay, well. Whoa. Oh. Nope. Okay, well, I think that I have to do it again. I have to do it again because that's not good. Yeah. It's a cute idea though. This one worked. This one, mm -hmm. same way. But I didn't prepare mm -hmm. that wood with the um, gesso like I did. I prepared it with like primer, like <laughs> interior primer, because <laughs> I wanted these stars to sparkle white, but um, mm -hmm. didn't work. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna think how I can save this. I can do something. I can either do it again or um, or save it somehow by repainting over it. So um, I guess that's that for now. I'm gonna leave. Okay, just see that you can leave.
so sorry. This is Eris. I'm um, I'm checking in on my uh, audio here before I share my screen because it won't let me do both at the same time for some reason. I have to jump into Zoom to talk and then go back to sharing my screen on my iPad. So that's the tech issues. Thought I'd do a quick intro, Alex, if that's okay. Hello. So just for a minute, I'm sorry everybody's seeing that whole screen thing there, but um, uh, yes. Yeah, so okay, well, my name is Aris or Aristea, and okay. I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Uh, so I'll be working in Procreate. I, I did kind of toss around a couple ideas about how I wanted to go about this. I'll be working in Procreate and I'll be sharing my screen straight from my iPad instead of shooting video of it. So that means you'll be looking at it like, like you'd be the artist. Yay. Um, my prompt is I want to see a huge lake with mountains in the background. There should be mm -hmm. palm trees and a tropical ambience full of wonderful flowers all around. We should be able to see the sun, the moon, and the Milky Way. So I thought mm -hmm. that's gonna give me a lot of creative freedom, which is scary sometimes, but also mm -hmm. allows for interpretation. And my thought was to interpret this in a new way for myself to be a little more outside the box thinking. And I'm gonna see what I come up with because I haven't done anything but like a little bit of reference viewing like so I've looked at pictures of flowers mm -hmm. and mountains and lakes and trying to get a kind of a feel for this I know the Milky Way is complex and difficult but I'm going to uh, try and fit that in there and the sun and the moon this is going to be an interesting project so I'm ready to go I'm gonna mute my audio I'm gonna go start my procreate and share my screen for a little bit for you guys awesome awesome that is Good, uh, talk to you guys here and there.
Actually, I might be. <clears throat> Hello, Genesis. How are you? Okay. Um. Somebody. I hear voices. I hear voices. I'm looking around. Who is talking? Is it you, God? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm fine. Um, just setting up the stream here. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, um, um, whom? Whom am I? Who am I talking to? Well, I'm Alex, and I'm the moderator of uh, for this ah, event. Ah, yes, yes. So, how is life? Are you down in Lis Lisbon? No, no, I'm not Lisbon. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alex from Faerian, Faerian. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm curious. What? Um, maybe I should have asked, but what? Uh, what does it mean, Faerian, or where does? the origin of the title of the name comes from theories or that was my best guess, but I. Do you know, or maybe Cynthia? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, tonight I, um, I will begin with some uh, research. I need to figure out several things. So <clears throat> again, Oh, I hate the I probably need the zip code. <clears throat> okay.
Hi, everyone.
Yeah, sorry about that. I, I had my. Yeah, sorry about uh, that. I had my. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh no! It's infamous. Oh no! It's infamous.
able to hear me okay? I can't tell if. Hello, Elena. How are you? Hello, hello. I just I heard music, so I don't know if like it was a, something that you could hear me or not. If I was like muted. Yeah, absolutely, I can hear you. <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. So again, you are ready with your turtles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've been ooh, I've been working on um trying to figure out the background. So okay. since since I figured the the prompt for this one was a giant turtle that was um like consuming human cities, I wanted to try to make it where it looked like the the background was like burning buildings <laughs> so that like he already okay, caused so, like him and destruction yeah. and now he's coming for more more homes. Mm. Oh, so how how are the the other artists um doing that are here i'm trying to see so we have elena here I think oh okay she's also designing and you know not a, ah, she's not a team, i mean so we have paula here okay and... hello lane and paula hello how how far along in your your painting are you? Like, do you do you think you're almost done, or are you, do you have a lot more to do? Uh, oh well, I'm really slow. Uh, yesterday and tomorrow, uh, it was about uh, seventeen hours that I'm working on this. Wow! And I hope I hope it will be done on time tomorrow. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> What, what what is the time that we have to have the pieces completed by? I don't know. Maybe till midnight. I don't know. Okay. I hope they will tell us. Yeah. No. No. Knowing that would definitely be um, helpful. I didn't even check. I was hoping that I would just be done today, so I was taking taking that for granted or <laughs> thinking that was going to be the case. How is your process going? Um, so far, so good. It's kind of like a fun, I would say, um, I didn't know exactly how it was going to turn out. So I was just kind of going with it. And um, when I have an idea of something else to add to it, I'll just keep adding to it until either the timer goes off. <laughs> or I'm like, okay, I'm just messing it up at this point. I can't make it any better. So that's how I'm approaching it. Similar as me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to decide how much of his his mouth I want to have showing so people can like see that it's actually a turtle. It's really cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So did you did you start off with like any reference images for yours or anything like that, or is this like all off the top of your head? Uh, at the top of my head and this portrait right here is actually my self portrait i was looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> oh, oh those, I, are, those are even harder to do when you're looking in the mirror <laughs> yeah i tried not to use any references is that is that how you often paint uh actually not but i wanted to try something new oh okay well, I don't, I don't want to distract you if you have a hard time, um, like, working and talking at the same time. <laughs> okay. If you need to chat, you can uh, type. Okay. I will, I have to turn off now. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no problem. No but problem. good luck. Thank you. Thank you to you as well. Thank you. Oh, and I see um, Elaine is also doing digital stuff. I don't know, are you, are you able to talk while you work or are you like, no, I don't want to talk right now? Hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I try my best. I just had a crush with my PC and basically there are a few steps which I miss and I have to save again. Oh, no. What about you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's well, so frustrating. Sometimes it's happened, but I'm happy was not too much work done to be lost. 
Oh, okay. That's good. Do, do you, you don't have like an automatic save on it? Uh, yes, I do, but my PC just crashed. So <laughs> I had to restart everything again. I'm sorry. That's the worst. Well, we, are you using Photoshop? I can't tell like from the screen. No, I'm using GIMP on oh, okay, okay. Linux and sometimes, sometimes what? Well, Okay, yeah, because like I'm using Procreate and, you know, you you have to save it as like a Photoshop document if you want to have like a, a a part on it to like return to. So it can it can be frustrating if you like go back and then and then you go back into the program and then it doesn't allow you to um, like make any like undos basically like you have to do it like save it as a Photoshop document. As, as a way of saving it. So that can be very frustrating too. But yeah, definitely when you make progress and then you crash. Are you are you able to get it to like be where it was before or or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you find so far this meeting? The the whole meeting. Um, you know, it's it's interesting because normally I would want to just go and do it completely AI so trying to like come up with the collage part has been interesting like trying to um I don't know figure out my <laughs> trying to think of the the um digital painting tools you know that's not like my strength and as far as like that that part goes but um I'm having fun testing out different um skills if you will and um just just playing with it and seeing like what what I can do and and when whenever I create art I always like to have kind of like a, a sense of humor with it. So I feel like I was able to to capture that with this piece. So I'm 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 happy so far how how, how it's looking. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Not bad at all. How like how how far along are you? Like do you think you're you're almost done or do you have a lot more you have to do or want to do? Well, usually when I work in something, I didn't plan anything on my head how it has to look like. So okay. layer after layer, I figure out what can be added or what can be modified or sometimes what can be deleted. deleted sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good when you can be more um, open ended with your creation process as opposed to like having like I know sometimes when I when I work in real life with paintings and drawings, I can have a very um, like specific thing in my head that I'm trying to create and then I get like really frustrated if I'm not able to achieve it. So it's it's good when you can be more process oriented and just enjoy the creation part of it. That's true. I think I think that's one of the things that um, working with AI has definitely helped me more with is is to kind of allow the process to guide the 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 product creation as opposed to the product that I'm envisioning to be the thing. Well, I completely understand what you mean, but I think also in the creative process, uh, whole process. Uh, here we are allowed for 40% AI. Mm -hmm. So you can figure out something, what to mix with your collage or... Yeah, I that's why I'm trying to, to um, add like animation and stuff to it and have it be more layers. So like everything that's in here is like a separate image that's being like put together. Like there's nothing in it that's like all like one thing. So like I have like the couch and the girl, like everything was all separate. So it's like all being put together. And then I think I'm gonna put some flames in the background <laughs> that are animated to make it look like it's uh, it's burning. So uh, basically you made more animation if I could understood. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to to add animated elements um, in addition to the collaged elements. So that's the the plan. Can I find uh, some good idea on that? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, I think that that's part of the fun of it is just kind of trying to see what um what transpires. 
since wow. it's all new to me. So norm normally um, I do fiber art. So I'll um, work with like yarn and, and things like that. So this is definitely all like a new kind of um, w way of working. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I like to try to bring like these AI elements into or um, fiber elements into into like these images so that it still looks like it has some kind of like texture and, you know, um, yeah, just so that it kind of has this almost, I would describe it as like a, a stop motion animation, but using fiber so that it um, just like it's, it's a combination of the two. So I don't have to physically like make the thing to make it look like the thing exists. Sounds interesting. <laughs> yes, it's a different approach. So uh, with yours, I know you said you're using GIMP, but like, are you doing um, a collage too? Or is like everything all like hand digitally drawn? Uh, no, some, so, so many things are just uh, copy paste. That's the collage made okay. from different ele elements. Okay. And I choose the colors. And I have a top in here in top. It's just the part which is made with AI, which okay. I combine with the other elements. Here as well, uh, I have um, AI pieces and here down. So this is my AI on the okay. picture. Everything else I try to figure out for my own. Okay, cool. So do you do do you do this collaging often, like with with AI, or do you do you enjoy just doing like pure pure, pure AI pieces? Mm, well, the AI does help me, but I still prefer to combine my own elements to make my own colors, my textures, because as you can see over here, mm -hmm. there are different textures which I use. Mm -hmm. So I'm more focused on color and texture than, let's say, how AI can generate something for the moment. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's interesting because, like, sometimes people think that it just um, will, like, actually, you know, just look like the thing right off the bat, you know, and it's like, no, there's so much modification that has to happen to get it to like come to, to life in the way that you're envisioning. Well, I well we have a that. new artist, Ronald. Is it first time you are here, Ronald? Hey, hello everyone. How hello. are you? Hello. I'm like, and then good, how are you guys? Hello. We are also doing <laughs> Nice. Is it first time you are here or? Uh, no, I've been here um, early today and uh, yesterday too. Okay. So is it all of what you're working on? Because it looks like it's um, all like digital painting that you're doing too, or are, are any of those elements AI as well? No, just all... Uh, um, just drawn by me. Cool. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. So how, how are you um, feeling like as far as like getting your, your image done in time? Are you like almost done or do you have a lot more that you want to work on it? Um, yeah, there's quite so a lot more I want to do. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see how far, how far I, I come. And of course you can always like work for hours and hours more on the same piece still. Yes. Yeah, and it's never ending. So at least my approach is to, to try to do, um, sometimes I'm going focus on one thing and I can spend so long working on one thing. So now I'm just trying to at least overall uh, the whole painting or the idea um, to have it come to life so that it is at least looks like finished if I don't have enough time. <laughs> or sort of, sort of finished. 
but I think I'm 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 good in time actually. That's 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 a good approach. How about how would you? Um, I'm trying to get it to look um as have like more three-dimensional depth so i think as far as like the collage aspect i'm happy with it but um because i'm collaging different pieces and elements together i want it to look a little bit more um like cohesive you know like that everything belongs so i was trying to generate more images where i would have more of like a realistic city for the background so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to add those in now actually, um, but because like I think the realistic buildings kind of are in competition with like the um, the the other textures in in the picture. So we'll see. But I I definitely think like you I'm gonna get it to a point where if this is you know where it's done like cool. But if I can make it you know that much better, it'll be it'll be awesome. <laughs> right. Um, and like all of the layers or all of the images are AI generated? Um, yeah, so pretty much all of them, yeah, all of them are. Um, and then I'm just like modifying them by like digitally painting them or changing the saturation levels and kind of getting everything like with the lighting. You know, I'm trying to kind of um, modify that by hand. And then I think I'm going to have like flames and smoke that I'm going to add as an animation element to the um the the background so that's going to be another modification oh yeah oh cool. nice and what was your prompts um well you know i tried doing the the turtle eating a city just initially to see what was happening and it was kind of funny because it basically just <laughs> it it just basically had like a turtle that was like walking around a city so that wasn't really what what i wanted um and then now like so now that i know what like what i was envisioning now i'm like adding those see so like the buildings that i had they weren't what what i wanted like they looked too realistic so now i'm adding this layer of this and I think these buildings look a lot better, you know? So um, I just would type in like, okay, give me a suburban street view of, of houses and, and things like that. And, and now like you can see the difference, right? I don't, well, I don't know if they're, you can see my screen up or not like in the stream. Yeah. Right okay, so yeah, so like um, over here, if I make it, wait, let me go, okay. So like, this is the, this is one of the prompts that I said, for, I wanted a bay window where it was like looking out at a city street and it's it's like, okay, but it didn't um, make it, you know, kind of that cinematic quality. So, so now I have this one that, that I'm gonna work on trying to change those buildings, hang on. Hopefully, I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, okay, I just took it off. Oh wait, no, it just cropped it. No. Okay, I have to bring it in again. Wait, hang on. My my building's got chomped by a uh, procreate's um size. Wait, let me see if I can bring it back in. Okay. So yeah, so this is the this is the, um what what I want the buildings to look more like. So you can see as, the aesthetics will kind of um blend better than than how it was looking with the other buildings. So I'm just gonna play right. around with this now. Cool. Well, yeah, now I remember the prompts. Reading yeah, it. This, oh, yeah, this, yeah, the, okay. I thought you meant my prompts when I was coming. Yeah, no, mine is a turtle eating the city. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, so cool. Fun. Well, we have an, another artist. If you can. How are you? Good. <laughs> I'm. I'm waiting for clay to dry, essentially. I was going to do two hands holding up sort of the box where I'm putting the main piece. Okay. But uh, it's air dry clay, and it's a lot of work and not a lot mm -hmm. of time to then paint it and finish it up afterwards. So I'm going with just the one hand now. And I'm about to start on the face that goes in the middle. Because my prompt was a goddess who everything she touches like spreads sort of love or nature. So I needed to have at least one hand, I felt. Where are you from, UK? I'm from Canada. Okay. I'm in like Guelph area, Ontario-ish. Is, is the smoke hitting you up there? Oh yeah, it's really bad today. Like 
I went outside yesterday and it was fine in the morning, but by the end of the day, I could already like tell it was getting worse. And today it's just like, it hits almost like a heat wave. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Rochester, so I'm, I'm getting all that downwind stuff. Well, I hope tomorrow is better for you. So when you're when you're done with the clay part, what do you do um, to make it like go into the digital form? So the digital aspect I'm doing for it is a front facade. It's going to be like paper cutouts. So instead of like using fancy papers, I'm going to essentially design it digitally and then get it printed so I can then kind of have like a fake river in the front part. So like face here, and then the mouth will be like a boat cut out with like water that kind of goes up. That's all digitally drawn and then printed and cut. Oh, wow. So um, do you often mix clay and like these digital elements together? Um, yes and no. Like more often than not, it'll be me documenting like physical objects and then digitally collaging them. But more recently, I've just been doing whatever weird thing comes my way, like a printmaking project of some sort of relief print. And I was like, great, can I carve an apple and then like take bites out of my prints? <laughs> <laughs> and then like I did for photography, um, I essentially made a 3D digital animation where I would like draw the things and procreate and then insert them as planes and add some relief to them. But would intentionally use the sort of image basis of it and like sort of clip the texturing in that and distort it that's that's cool so when when you like first started um creating your art would you say that you were more of like a 3d um or like a you know physical artist or were you like a digital artist first uh i was always a physical artist first I only got into digital like within the last two-ish years, pretty much. And, but and I always that... did like photography. Okay. So was that was that more to turn your artwork like from a, a physical into a digital to, to create NFTs? Or is that something that you just experimented with um, like for your own self? And then once you realized that like digital art could be turned into an NFT, then you went that route. I mean, I haven't actually like produced an NFT, but I have made digital oh. art before. Okay. I just don't, <laughs> I haven't done much yet to that extent. I'm still in school actually at university. So okay. it's Which... like going through the different things and switching what I'm working on each semester. Oh, cool. Like a, a mixed media artist? Yeah, I'm fairly interdisciplinary. Because a lot of students in my program specialize and they're like, I'm just going to take the one required sculpture or whatever, and then do like my favorite thing. But I'm just like taking almost all the main categories of courses to the fullest level. That That's awesome. I, th I think that's like such a, um, a, a great approach because then you can not only see what you like, but then also there's really cool ways that you can like integrate, mm -hmm. like integrate. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Because I was almost going to give up printmaking. And I just kind of like took another course on a whim. And that was the digital printmaking course. And that's what kind of got me into doing digital stuff was like, I'm able to make all these like more crisp drawings because it's not like I have to deal with all the eraser crumbs and all that stuff and like lighting effects. So I can produce like the digital screens and stuff or like make photos into wood blocks with a laser cutter 
And I was just like, oh, this is what I like. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically just listening in and seeing what other people are suggesting for me because I don't always know myself what I actually want. And so far, they haven't led me astray. <laughs> well, there you go. I just wanted to say that it was really nice listening to you talking in the background because I can't talk while I paint, but it's okay to listen to you. <laughs> but I wanted to say that I have to go now. So it was it was nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you too. Good luck on um, finishing your piece. Yeah, thank you. You too also. <laughs> See you. you tomorrow. For okay, sure. No Bye. Yeah, see, I think these buildings look a lot better. So that's like kind of where the collage comes in to trying to figure out um, what what aspect of, of the AI is like working versus <laughs> what, what needs to be um, changed. But just so you can see the difference, like, well, I think I just deleted one of them. But um, if I make these buildings invisible, um, did I? I think I did. Yeah, I already, I already started to to delete them right but like can you see the difference between you know ooh, not that one this one right like so I just think that aesthetically those buildings with the color palette and everything they look better you know so I'm gonna keep keep going with these and, and hopefully it'll it'll all work out I, do you, does anyone know what time it is in, in Lisbon right now? Like, are people even at the convention area? I believe it was about 10 p.m. when I logged in. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It's around 10 p.m. That's cool. So has... um for like for the for the moderator so i don't know know your name um i'm trying to like look in the zoom to see wait are you appearing here okay yeah so um like is are there, are there people that are like going to the, the the booth like is it is there like a lot of people there that are coming to to check out the art or is this um more for like the the twitch stream okay well just just and you know when um our artwork needs to be done by like is it midnight tomorrow night or what what the the time deadline is Well, I think it's uh, the June lines. The June lines. Okay. Okay. That should work.
Ooh, there are 12 people in the Twitch stream. Hello, people in the Twitch stream. Wherever you're at, I hope you're doing well and having a, a good evening or morning or whatever time of day it is by you. Okay, I think my Apple Pencil just died. <laughs> so with that, I guess I'm going to come back later after it's been charged. I'll come back tonight and I'll, I'll keep working on it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just, you can just come with my paper, but I love everything. All right, well. I hate it when that happens. Sometimes yeah. you put it in the charger and you think it's fine and then it just doesn't charge because it wasn't lined up and then exactly, exactly. waited for nothing. <laughs> and I and this is definitely not like a finger painting thing that I can pull off. So mm -hmm. all right. Well take care everybody and I will try to um come back later. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Well, if you have any music recommendation, we can also put some music in the background if you like. Just let me know. I don't have any specific requests, but uh, some music would be nice, though. Which music are you talking about, Alex? Sorry? Which music are you talking about? I didn't get that. I'm saying which music are you talking about? I heard you. Like you're saying for some specific music.
we have Yolantis here. Hello, Yolantis. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Good, good. It's nighttime over there, right? Uh, must be yeah. like 9, 10 p.m. Yeah, Lisbon, right? Hello, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's still the middle of the workday for me. <laughs> I like watching everybody else work over there. I Okay, so in the morning, I tried uh, the phone on a tripod and um, mm -hmm. I, I, it didn't work out. So I changed my idea of how I'm going to make my artwork. And now um, I'm working on my computer. The Zoom is on my um, desktop client. So if you um, can have two people share their screen at once, um, then I can just show people what I'm doing. If not, I just I'll, I'll just keep my camera off. I think you can share share, uh, share your screen. I guess we should be. We can both. Okay. Just try it once. Let's see. Yeah, your camera is also working fine and screen is uh, showing you. So, yeah, I don't see any issues. Oh, um, so you can see this? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, green, I'm working on some green artwork right now and the prompt is make a beautiful earthscape using data about pollution blooms in our oceans okay and so i have now set up my adobe arrow scene with a 3d render that i made yesterday and mm -hmm. then i am going to take the photos, these photos, and prepare them for arrow. Okay. I've already sent this through Gigapixel, um, which is uh, this one. So I doubled the size of it and I think I'll do adjustment layer.
I have to head out for some dinner now. Made some good progress, I'd say. And hopefully we'll be back a little later. Good luck, everyone.